Um, I, I want to thank you uh, for having this hearing, and I want to thank Senator Mikowski, the chairman also, and, and when Wyden gets here, thank him too, and uh, distinguished member of the committee, thank you. Um, and, and I want to give thanks to uh, the comments that Senator Dane said. Uh, I think he laid out this bill uh, very accurately, and, uh, and I appreciate his comments. It is an honor and a privilege to come before you today. Um, this is an important bill for Montana's local businesses, uh, especially those involved in the recreation industry, which is significant. As you can tell by this picture, um, it's fair to say that uh, these kind of places don't exist just everywhere on earth. Uh, it's a pretty special place. It is at the doorstep of Yellowstone National Park and at the headwaters of the Yellowstone River. Uh, a while ago, uh, probably a year ago, uh, the local residents got wind of two mining companies that were planning to uh, expand operations a short distance away from the doorstep of Yellowstone National Park. In fact, you can see where it says Immigrant Mining District, that's where it is. This is home, as Senator Dane said, to world-class fishing, rafting, hiking, uh, and, and hunting just about anything you want to do. It's, it's an amazing, amazing area. Uh, and it's an ecosystem like none other in the world. And, and so what, is this, what does this bill do? Um, and I appreciate your comments, Mr. Chairman, about importation of minerals, but, but I will tell you there are some places on Earth we simply should not mine. This is one of them. Um, there are other places where it's entirely appropriate. And so this legislation uh, will help guarantee that large-scale mining will never threaten the headwaters of the Yellowstone or our premier national park in this country, Yellowstone National Park. Uh, this legislation has broad support from Republicans, independents, Democrats, uh, libertarians, you name it. Uh, it why? Because this is, this is the gateway to the park and it's the headwaters of the Yellowstone. It, 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 it uh, creates uh, millions of jobs, if not, and, and not millions of jobs, millions of dollars into our economy, if not billions of dollars. And help, helps uh, create a ton of jobs uh, in the region uh, over the long haul. Um, there are over four million people who visit Yellowstone Park every year. Um, every one of them spend their hard-earned money uh, in and around the communities of Yellowstone Park. If we screw up, that park with a large-scale mine, we are not doing justice to the earth or the people that live on it. Uh, a picture is worth a thousand words. And, and I just want to just point out to you uh, what we've got here. I mean, this is amazing. And, and Senator Danes is correct. There is another mine that does palladium and platinum. It is a zero-discharge mine, and it is a very good mine. There is no, absolutely no assurance that that's where we'll end up here. We could very well end up in a situation like we have in Butte, where it is the largest Superfund site. Well, that's arguably one of the largest Superfund sites in the world, where it pollutes downstream for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of miles, the waters. And, and I will tell you, we don't want that here, because the impact it will have on Montana is incredible. $6.4 billion goes into our economy every year due to recreation. A good portion of that comes right out of this region. This is where the mine would be. This is the Yellowstone River, the headwaters to it. That's, uh, that's what you do uh, when you're having a bad day in Montana. The good day is you're pulling a fish out of the water, okay? No, the truth is, is any time you can spend time on a river with these kind of waters uh, and this kind of fishery, uh, it's, uh, it, it, it's, it's a pretty special time. And, uh, and I'll tell you, where's the crevice mine? Right in here. Impacts, impacts this in big, it's just outside the Oslo National Park in the garden. And finally, just a back view of it, this is a different picture of the first one I showed you, but, but this, is, this, is a, this is a view back into where these mines are going to be. And uh, this is Yellowstone Park over here, and uh, it, it's just a magnificent country. I mean, it's, it's a place you dream about when you're sitting in an office with no windows, to get out and be able to utilize this area. And it's why people come to places like Montana, why they covet places like Montana. If you put a mine here, I guarantee you it changes this landscape forever. Whether, whether, it's, whether it's under the best intentions or not, it changes it. So the bottom line is this. We've got business people, we've got government elected officials from the local that say, we don't want this. 
And I would just say to this committee, as you move forward, this isn't about a mining ban. This is about making sure that we mine in appropriate places. This is not an appropriate place for a mine. Not at the headwaters of, of the Yellowstone, nor at the doorstep of Yellowstone National Park. Thank you very much.